Cadre! Live together or die alone. Survive to win. What's up guys? Craze back again. Today got some infection gameplay here for you. I'm not a gameplay uh, or game mode I play all that often, but I do enjoy it on occasion, and especially when I'm playing with friends, and I believe I'm playing with Logan here, Logan Grimnar who's actually just recently started uploading again, which is amazing. Man, I loved his videos back in Halo 4's days and really hoping he's gonna start kicking it off, especially E3 is around the corner. Halo News is around the corner. We are almost finally gonna be out of this drought. This Halo News drought, we're gonna finally get some news and that's just gonna be amazing. Well, it's not 100% confirmed that we're gonna get Halo news at E3 this year, but man, we better. We had better get something, but I, I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure we're going to get some news. So I really can't wait. And the more YouTubers are really out there promoting this stuff and uh, just having fun with Halo, man, I'm really, really hoping that's going to happen. Uh, hopefully get some news on the Master Chief Collection as to where it's at, what's going on, and possibly an update to it. Uh, when that's going to happen, I don't know. But uh, the first flighting is out and done. And actually, I thought the second flighting or the third one would be on, on the pass by now. But I guess they are truly, truly taking their time uh, with getting this done right. Uh, which would be nice. Now, I want to get on the Mass Chief Collection and just play and have fun. And not have to worry about the other little glitches that MCC has. But... Onto the channel, I, I want to small, post a small update. If you haven't noticed, uh, there is a lot, and I do mean a lot, of the uh, old school trailers. I can't tell you how long this took me to find all these trailers, recomposite them, and then, then <laughs> re-upload them. It has been a huge project, a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, because you got to think about this. Think about this. Halo is... It came out originally in 2001. 2001. It's almost 20 years old. And that's a lot of games. That's a lot of trailers. I didn't think it was going to be such a huge project, but it really did. It turned into be a huge project. So as I'm uploading those, do check them out. Uh, you got to love the old school stuff. Uh, I tried cleaning them up a little bit as well, and I tried finding the best quality ones as I could, but unfortunately, when you're talking 15 years ago, YouTube was not even around. Videos were really rare, and they were really uh, kind of poor quality. Look at my friend over there. Yeah, he's over there doing some action on somebody. <laughs> but anyways, E3 is coming along, man. I can't wait. We're less than a week away, and um, just kind of want to throw this out here. Throw, throw some of my wish lists out here, uh, things I want to see. Uh, of course, I want to see games out there that are going to surprise me, uh, things I haven't thought about or even, even considered. So I wouldn't mind having some surprises. Now, I don't mind that we have some more Battle Royales. Uh, I just don't want everything to have a battle royale mode. We don't, everything doesn't need a battle royale mode. Uh, so I'm kind of worried about that. Everything is gonna have some battle royale and they're gonna do like Black Ops did and they're just gonna cut out the campaign, which is sad. Uh, Cause I tell you what, of all the Call of Duty games, the Black Ops series had the best, I think the best uh, campaign and I really enjoyed it. I don't know about Black Ops 3. I never played it because you know Black Ops 3 just completely did not appeal to me with all the other running around walls and whatever and all the extra nonsense. But that's my first wish is that we don't have everything Battle Royale. 
Uh, I would definitely love to see some brand new stuff. I'd love to see Halo uh, throw some new stuff out there we haven't even thought about before. Some crazy game modes. Um, I'm hoping not for Warzone, but I'm going to be honest. Warzone, I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy. I would love to see a true firefight where it's just you and uh, three friends. And, and you're just surviving as long as you can. A firefight survival type of game would be amazing. Um, and of course, E3 for uh, Halo is just going to be, I think, my top thing I want to see. Unfortunately, I'm working, so I can't watch it. I'll have to wait till I get home. Um, but I would love to see a trailer for Halo 6. Uh, and of course, I'd love to see some gameplay. Not expecting it, but I would love to see it. Um, I would love to see... <laughs> any type of news or anything for Halo related uh, so they said there's two games in development now, I don't know what they quite mean by that was that the Halo Raven I don't know look at it. everybody's having a good old time good old time oh that's so much fun um I said the trailer some gameplay would be awesome I, I don't think we're gonna get the gameplay but it would be really nice to have uh, let's see, what else am I kind of looking for? I'm looking for the Division 2. Uh, I love the original Division. So much fun. So much fun to play the Division. Especially when you got some friends on and you're playing together. Just love playing that game. And it sounds like they're going to build on top of what they already have. So I don't know exactly what that means. But hopefully they're going to keep the things like Underground, which is a pretty much endless array of uh, dungeons uh, completely new and different every time you go in there um, build on the story the campaign um, just be a fantastic thing uh, the multiplayer I never really got into that much because I don't have the opportunity to play with friends and trust me you go into the dark zone a solo you are definitely a target and uh, that is not a fun little thing to be in uh, you definitely want to go into the dark zone with a full group of friends uh, because if you don't yeah yeah you're you're gonna have a rough time um, all right the division two definitely looking forward to that uh, what else I'm looking forward to something on splinter cell now I love the original splinter cell uh, well I can't say the original uh, I, I never really did play the original, but I did play a, a few of the older games, and the only thing I ever had a problem with is that you could hide in a hallway. Yeah, just just a hallway. If it was in the shadow, you could hide in there, and <laughs> the people would walk right by you. I don't see you sitting in the shadow in the corner over there. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, but still, very good game series. I would love to see another story come on with Sam Fisher. Sounds like Michael Ironsides is going to be the voice again. You can't beat that. Michael Ironsides? Man, I love it. He's got like the best voice, I think, for video games. He does such a good job. I love uh, some of his old movies and, of course, uh, like Starship Troopers. By the way, if you haven't seen Starship Troopers, you really need to go check that out. It, it, it's it's practically a Halo game. <laughs> it, it really is. The story is almost identical. It, it's it's crazy. Um, but still, uh, Splinter Cell, definitely looking forward to that. I really would love to see some more on that. I'm thinking like the uh, latest, well, kind of like the, the, I don't even know what version it's called. I can't even remember. It's been so long. But it wasn't like your traditional sneak -em and whatever else. You were like a really... Uh, you were pretty much a badass. And you went in there and you killed whoever in a room without even thinking twice. I can't remember that game. The, the name of it. It was on the 360. Uh, I'll probably remember it after sometime. But uh, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, sea of Thieves. Uh, looking forward to seeing some type of content to that game. Something. Because, let's be honest, Sea of Thieves, I did not get it. Uh, because I played the beta and I was like really bored like almost immediately and that was crazy. Uh, so I'm really hoping that they're going to have some content to that. And make it worthwhile. Um, I would love to see that. What else? Uh, Destiny 2. 
I think they got something going on here tomorrow as some sort of reveal, but they might have a little more here on E3. Probably the PlayStation 1 uh, conference, but uh, I like Destiny. I mean, I'm not, not going to say it's like my favorite game ever. I definitely don't care for the multiplayer version of it, but man, uh, overall, though, I do kind of like uh, being able to work with friends and try to take down bosses and and stuff like that so I'm really hoping for something on Destiny 2 to make it really worth going back uh, and playing that soon kinda like the Taken King uh, back in the day there we go gotcha Got oh yeah oh he's just sitting there up there partying on the rock but anyways that's kinda like my wish list uh, for E3 and one final note one final note I don't know even if should I don't even think I should bring this up uh, I'm kind of hoping for Halo Reach to be announced for the Mass Chief Collection. There's a lot of rumors about it. Um, I don't know for sure, but I would love to see it added and be able to play the old Halo Reach uh, and enjoy that game uh, with actually enjoy all the DLC content. I would love to see that. And of course, the 4K goodness and dedicated servers, and just that would be really nice. That would be nice. Let's see if we can't get this guy. We're almost there. But, anyways, guys, I do thank you for watching. This is crazed. I'm out of here. You guys have a good E3. I can't wait to see what's coming. I, I think it's going to be an amazing year for Halo. All right, this is crazed. I'm out of here. Game over. Comment, like, and subscribe.